What's up, my friends? Let's talk about the priority Gemini. First off, this right here, the Pinion Smart Shift, is definitely the coolest part about this bike. And maybe the second coolest part about this bike is the logo right here, the Gemini Spacecraft. What's up, my friends? My name is Ryan Van Duzer. On my channel, you'll find all sorts of adventure bikepacking videos from all over the world. And every now and then, I do bike reviews about priority bicycles because those guys are my homies. Here's a quick overview. The Priority Gemini is a drop bar gravel bike. It is low maintenance, like all of Priority's bicycles. And the heart and soul is right here. If you watch my channel, you know I love the Pinion gearbox. It has a 600% gear range. That means from top to bottom, there is a 600% change. If you still don't get it, that means that the easiest gear, the granny gear, is so easy, you could ride it up a wall. Not really, but kind of. And then the hardest gear is really great for cranking on flats and downhills. You pair that with this thing right here, the Gates Carbon Belt Drive, which never needs to be lubed and lasts three times longer than a chain. And you've got yourself a very low maintenance drivetrain because all of the gears are protected in here. So when you go through mud and snow and all that other stuff, it's all good because, as you know, most bikes have a derailleur right here. They get all gunked up, they bend easy, your gears go out of tune easy, but not with this system. What's a bike like this good for? Well, let's just say it's not good for technical mountain biking. You would want the Priority HXT or ADX for that. But it's pretty much good for everything else. This could be an adventure bike where you strap bags all over it and a rear rack and panniers and ride it for thousands of miles. It'd be a great low maintenance commuter bike. It's also a great, you know, Saturday, Sunday, weekend warrior bike where you go out with your friends and ride for 50 to 100 miles. It just feels really comfortable. It's obviously road bike-ish geometry, but you're a little bit more upright than a traditional road bike. So, you know, it's comfortable. You're not hunched over as much and it's fast. It's got the more narrow tires as opposed to like a mountain bike or a commuter bike. And you can have the different hand positions with the drop bars up top like this, like that, down if you wanna go fast, down mountains. And it's great for climbing. I live in Boulder, Colorado, and I live very close to the mountains and I can ride this thing up any mountain because of the gear range. It allows me to get into a very small gear even when it's weighted down and be able to climb up pretty much anything. And it's great on pavement and gravel roads. You're not gonna to wanna to take this, like I said, on very technical mountain bike trails, but it is perfect for gravel roads, forest service roads, and obviously pavement. Let's go back to this right here, because I'm guessing if you're looking at this bike, it's because you're interested in the Pinion Smart Shift. It is brand new technology, and it is really cool. And how does it feel? Well, it feels like that. Kind of like, you know, you have a video game controller in your hand and you're just pushing buttons. It shifts like butter right on a dime. It's really quite incredible. How long does the battery last, you ask? Well, very good question. I'm sure you're thinking, well, this bike sounds cool and this technology sounds really cool, but what if I'm out on a ride and it dies and then I'm screwed and can't change the gears? And that's a, a very real worry because there's some other brands out there um, and their batteries don't last all that long. This battery lasts about 100 hours. That's a lot of hours. I actually was just looking on some of the priority Facebook pages and my friend Brett posted that he rode his bike 200 miles in one single day, which is crazy, and his battery level at the very end of that ride was still at 93%. Now, Brett lives in Florida, so you're not changing gears as much. If you're somewhere like Colorado and you're changing gears a lot because you're going up and down terrain, it's going to depend on you know, your riding style. But 100 hours 
is a pretty good amount of time. And this right here is where you charge it. There's a little cord that pops out right here on the top tube and you just plug it into the charger and after an hour or so you're ready to rock. So I've had this bike for about six months and I've been riding it all over Boulder and up and down the mountains and on some of our flatter gravel roads and I've been having a blast on this thing. But recently I went on a three-day bikepacking trip with my friends from Priority Bicycles from New Jersey into Pennsylvania. We were all riding the Priority Gemini and I was lucky because they let me borrow the titanium version of this bike, which is so sweet. I'd never ridden a titanium bike in my life. And I was really impressed with just how fast this bike felt to me. You know, I don't ride drop bar skinny tire bikes all that often, but I felt very comfortable on it. And my bike, of course, had a rear rack and all my gear on the back, so it was weighed down, but it still felt really snappy and smooth and comfortable. At the end of the day, even you know, some of the days we rode like 70 miles, I felt fine. I didn't have that pain in my shoulder from being hunched over. And like with any new technology, it takes some time to get used to, right? You know, I'm used to the mechanical pinion that has like the grip shift and I actually really love that. And I was curious how long it would take for me to feel comfortable with these little rapid fire buttons. And it took all of, you know, an hour to like, figure out like, oh wow, this is really cool. Oh yeah, look what we found. Ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yeah. This bike comes with 700 by 40 millimeter wide tires. These are the WTB Volpine tires. Of course, the rims are tubeless ready. That's really the way you wanna get it set up if you want to avoid getting flats. You could put a 50 millimeter tire in here if you want. It really depends on the brand tire and the types of knobs that are on. But this bike is ready for adventure. When you're riding a fast bike, you want nice brakes. And I've been really impressed with these TRP high wire brakes. I've been coming down mountains near my house at you know 40 plus miles an hour. And I've been impressed at the stopping power of these TRP brakes. You know, I've been using TRP for a while now on the 600X and ADX, and I'm a fan of this brand for sure. The bike weighs 27 pounds, which to me seems like a very light bike, but there are a lot of people out there who really like the lightest bike possible, and they're counting their grams with every single piece of componentry, and that's fine, but I've always found that I would rather have a little bit heavier bike that is bomb proof. And that's what this bike is. This bike is bomb proof. Where does a lot of that weight come in? Well, right here with the pinion. The pinion drivetrain is a little bit heavier than a tra traditional drivetrain, but the weight is all at the center of the bike, which definitely helps with handling as opposed to a traditional bike where a lot of the weight is at the back of the wheel. So if you're looking at this bike seriously, yes, it is 27 pounds. It is not by any means the lightest gravel bike on the market, but I'm guessing you're not buying this to be winning races on your local criterium. You're buying this bike because you already believe in the technology behind pinion and priority and the low maintenance philosophy. You're buying this bike because you want a bike that is just gonna be durable and last a long time and you don't have to worry about it breaking when you're 75 miles away from your house. This is a size large and it fits me perfectly. I'm 5'11 with a 31 and a half inch inseam. It also comes in small, medium and extra large so it should fit a variety of body sizes. If you're still a little confused, Priority has a sizing chart on their website which really helps you understand how to fit yourself and how to choose the right size. And even then, if you're still a little unsure, you can always reach out to the people at Priority. They are incredibly responsive and they will help you get yourself dialed in and choose the right size for you. Also, this bike has a 275 pound maximum weight limit and that includes rider weight and all your gear. So definitely keep that in mind as well.
This bike, the Gemini, is $3,500, which is a very good deal for a bike with Pinion Smart Shift technology. Most of the other bikes with this technology are much more expensive. And you're probably thinking, well, how is it possible that Priority can sell it so much cheaper? Well, all of the other bikes with Pinion Smart Shift are custom made bikes. And although those are super cool, it definitely skyrockets the price. So if you're looking to test out and try this technology, this is gonna be the most affordable price tag for you. And Priority from time to time does sales, so you might even get it cheaper than $3,500. And another thing, if you're sitting there thinking, Ryan always says good things about Priority bikes, you're right, I'm very tied in with Priority. If you want somebody else's opinion, I recommend going to the Facebook groups that are dedicated to Priority riders. There you'll get people's opinions about their bikes who have no stake in Priority at all. I love Priority because I've been riding their bikes since 2018. I'm very, very close friends with everybody at the team at Priority. I am involved with the designing of some of these bikes at Priority. So of course, I am all about Priority bikes. I'm not gonna go through all the tech specs of the bike here. If you really wanna nerd out on that stuff, I will link below the page to this bike and you can go crazy. And if you have further questions, like I said, the team at Priority is incredibly responsive. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for bike adventures all over the world. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And what I always say at the end of every video is get off your couch and get out there and have some fun. And yes, I do see the irony in saying this statement to you who are either sitting in your computer chair or on a couch. But what I mean is watch this video and then get out there. <laughs> But wait, there's more. I know you didn't ask for it, but this is a bonus bike. This is the brand new Doozer Cruiser Cruiser bike. Check this out. Colorado flag colors. And the front badge right here, of course. We've got the get out there. So cool with the mountains and the sun. We got this 80s style, super slick looking cruiser bike. Gates, carbon, belt drive. It's a one geared, super sweet cruising machine not made for bike packing but if you want to give it a shot go for it <laughs>